in charge. East London, call me Big Dog. Where I come from, don't live long. Had to sell drugs for my income. Spent 10 years in Kingston. Then I catch a flight, come to England. What's happening, my brother? You good? Oh, man, you've been having the streets on Smash for, it's got to be a few years, man. Yeah, working, working, working. A few yeah. years. Like, yeah. does it officially feel like that, that you've been having that, that grapple on the streets for a bit? Yeah, of course, man. We've had a grip, you get me? We... We work in and out, we run in and out, but I think this year we're just here to stay. We ain't gonna ease up no more. We're not playing with nobody no more, you know, like that. So mm. just look out for the pressure, the vice grip, isn't it? Mm. The thing is, man, you've kind of kept people eager because this More Money, More Pagans free mixtape mm. has been coming soon for a little while. We're yeah. approaching, what, nearly two years since the last one. Uh, yeah, the last one was yeah, 2013. Well, it's been that long. That's what so I mean. Saying, boy, I you must be cooking up a gourmet. Bro, listen, listen. Hear what you heard so far from that, yeah? You've heard twerk. Banger. That goes off in the club, give the girls their space, they go crazy. Mm-hmm. You've heard Slick Rick, current song, Tiny Temper, Pro Green. See what I'm saying? You've heard Know That, featuring Snap Capone. Mm-hmm. My last two joints that I've dropped was on the Coleon, Trap God remix. Mm-hmm. Tore that down. Before that, the Naughty Boy. Me, Naughty Boy and Getz. Like, come on, man. Like, I'm always there, even though I'm not full on and rear to open the <laughs> screen and all that. But I've always been there and everything I do is B-list or not, no, just kills mm. the streets. Because you know so what? I have to ask you these questions from the perspective as a DJ and from a fan, because mm. the fans are eager. The fans don't have patience. No, so you've got to no, explain but you have to understand things. the fans, are, they're, 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 they're wild. Like, I can drop a tape this week and by next month they'll be like yo we need more space we need more space so you have to understand like everything consistency in it and i feel like i've always given them a level of consistency every time i come so they will wait they will be eager and be on my case like yo 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 because when i come i come correct you see me so that's where we're at right now so you know since you've released your fourth mixtape's about to drop yeah and you've had the streets the underground on you know the grip on the underground for yeah, a few years now minute, yeah, but you know yeah. for from the words of jay spades give us a brief history into the musical life man Boy, whoever's, whoever don't know, whoever's been following, like this thing's been going on for a minute. Like first, first time people saw, people probably saw me on screen was with Crime Scene. Crime Scene, you get me? Big up my brothers, Mashtan, Margs, Hypes, Tricky. Like that's the first time people actually saw me on screen. And I already had a tape on ends that was bubbling locally, you get me? And then that gave a, gave a face to Jay Spades. So from there, we just kept it current and I went off for a minute as well, as I always do. Came back, we done Warriors, that literally shut the streets down. Like I said, that was me and Margs again. And then from there, I think, yeah, we, I done two tapes, dropped more money, more Pagans. So that, that kicked off like white stuff, every day, nightmares, like get the ghetto, the list goes on, like, you know what I'm saying to you? Follow up, Triple MP2, big tunes like TGIF. Um, so many to list, man. I can't even know them way there. But as I said, go check out my catalogue. Go check out my tapes. Check out the catalogue. I promise you. Like, there's nobody in the UK that does what I do and doing what we do. You get me? So on that being said, big up my producer, the Beat Boss. That's the hottest producer in the game right now. He'll give me all the heat that's got me laying down this, these crazy beats right now. Big up my homie, C Figures. You get me? That's the team. That's the package. That's what we're working with right now. Figures produce, like, the most of Triple MP1. Half a Triple MP2, like we've just been working, now we're getting you like Get Rich Together, the final trilogy in the Triple MP saga and entrance into the Get Rich saga. You see what I'm saying to you? So that's where we're at right now. Now like an artist like yourself, like we've spoken before about you being like one of the underground champions, mm. there was a track 3000 with Waka Flocka and you had the bar where you said the radio don't want to play my songs but I ain't feeling what they playing. Yeah. Now many people might argue that to this point maybe you haven't had radio accessible tracks. Mm. Now 2015, Did is that something? TGIF? You couldn't hear Thank God it's Friday on the radio? On a yeah, Friday? yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby father, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's, it's whether you service the tracks. Like, you know. I hear you. Well, as I said, you know what? With all that, it was a growth process, innit? You see what I'm saying? So I had to come through the game and kind of learn that a lot of the songs you hear on the road, even like the absolute garbage, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes why these songs are getting played, you see me? And we coming from the background in the streets, we didn't really know that. We just had an authentic buzz and everyone was feeling it organically like, yo, this is banging, this is banging, why ain't the radio playing this, why are we But as I said, we learned the game a bit more. Shout out to a couple of people, I don't even know if she wants me to shout out her name and all that, but 
You know what I mean? We've been working, like we're working, we're working. Now let's let's put it on record as well. As a street artist, as an underground artist that came yeah. with, you know, a very organic buzz, a very organic growth. Yeah. The radio is still important to you though, because you have that gripe towards radio not playing you. Nah, because now we're in a better place. Every time I turn the radio on, now for the last, f listen, Naughty Boy record was on the radio every. I had man from jail phone me like, bro, this is getting me through. Like you're every minute, man, saying this tune on the radio, man from all over, and that was a do it big. That's a song featuring Gets and um, Bashy. Mm -hmm. Is it me? Produced by Naughty Boy, big record that done good things this year. Mm -hmm. Then. Um, like I said, the follow-up was Slick Rick, and that's getting played on the radio all day long. So big up all the DJs holding a stand. Big up BBC. Big up everyone. Just big up everyone supporting the record, behind the record, and finally they want to see the team come through. You get me? We're doing this for you. London, you're done now. Now, it's funny, though, because some people actually listen to this Slick Rick track, mm. and because they know about your cockiness, they will yeah. think that you're just talking about Slick Rick because of the cockiness. Yeah. But it's also Slick Rick as in a reference to the, yeah. the historical, First legendary UK, UK rapper. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So talk to us about what Slick Rick means to you, man. Was that a big influence? Did you listen to a lot of his big music? Big influence, man. Big influence. Like, trust me, the whole eye patch thing, the whole rare thing. Slick Rick came with a whole gold thing. And you already know, our culture, we's, like, we come from that background, innit? Where, we're, sorry, we come from that background where you already know, like, the gold, the whole Adidas track suits, the whole swag. Like, that was from the 80s coming into the 90s and all of that. And we was big fans of that. But outside of even the dress code and the representation of the clothing and that for the culture, Slick Rick was actually a sick rapper. Like, potentially the best storyteller in rap outside of Biggie. That's the only person I can see who can give him a run for his money. But apart from that, Slick Rick was the best storyteller. And like I said, he influenced so many that for me to push the clock forward now, and give them man their rebirth and, a and give them a shout out. Like, come on, bruv, man, it's only right. You might have to find him. Bruv, you know what? We've been working, we've been working. If Slick Rick sees this interview, come my people, and we've been scourging the map trying to find homie, you get me? But we'll see how that goes, because worst ways, like, you never know. You might want to jump on a remix or something, right? <laughs> there. No X nothing off the list, because you know we do powerful things anyway. Because the word on the road is space, gonna blow and they're waiting for my single. Oh. Lick the jackpot like bingo.